Hello everyone, in this video uh, I'm going to talk about how to remove or hide the related videos when the YouTube video ends uh, for YouTube end embed block in WordPress. So as you can see this is the WordPress block and this is the core YouTube embed block. Now I've added a video over here and you'll notice that when the video ends it goes ahead and adds all of these uh, suggested videos. Now these suggested videos are also from my channel and um, maybe you don't want your clients to see the suggested videos. Um, so how to basically hide it? Now there is a parameter called um, REL, REL equals zero that you can add to the YouTube uh, video URL. Uh, in order for it to show only related videos to your channel but it still doesn't solve the problem of not uh, showing the related videos so how do we solve that problem well what we could do is on if you go on the front end uh, we can wrap the YouTube iframe with our custom components as you can see here I have wrapped this uh, iframe which is the YouTube embed player with our custom web component which is LB YouTube embed inside of that uh, I've placed the iframe which is the which is going to be the YouTube player and then I've also added a overlay okay so this element is basically an overlay and uh, this is going to have the same background image as the this one and then it's going to have a button uh, which is similar to this one so it can play uh, once the video is finished so all we're going to do is once the video finishes we're going to show this particular overlay which will kind of hide uh, the related videos so let me give you a demo so if you see over here if I play it and then if I go towards the end now you can see we are setting the ended attribute to true and then we are showing the uh, YouTube overlay over here so previously it was hidden but now it's showing okay and now if I just do display none and bring the iframe back you can see the related videos are still there okay so what we're doing is when the video finishes using the YouTube API with JavaScript we are listening to that event and as soon as the video ends we hide this uh, YouTube uh, we set this iframe to none and then we bring this overlay back which is going to have the same thumbnail as the uh, initial video and it's going to have the YouTube icon and things like that which we can of course style and then when the user clicks on that we go ahead and replay the video okay so that's basically how you can do this uh, now I'm going to show you the code um, how to basically programmatically pro programmatically achieve this okay so if you go over here I've created a snippet for this I'll share the link um, in the video description we can basically hook to the embed o embed HTML hook and we can call a function here what this function is going to do is is going to provide you with the embed markup which is the markup that's returned by the block which is iframe and then we're just going to wrap it, wrap these two things, uh, wrap it inside of the LB YouTube embed, and you're also going to add the overlay. So that's what I'm doing over here. So I'm checking first of all whether or not it's a YouTube URL, and then I'm going ahead and uh, also adding rel show info to zero, enable JS API, all the requirements that you have for your project, and then going ahead and um, using this iframe, using the embed as a source URL, okay and then I uh, am um, wrapping this inside of this custom web component setting the ended attribute to false and then also adding the overlay including the SVG uh, with the button for playing the video replaying the video which is this one okay and then uh, in order for me then I'm going to write the JavaScript okay and that JavaScript and the styles that I'm going to write I want to ensure that it's only included when when this block is rendered the YouTube core block I don't want the JavaScript or the styles to be uh, loaded on each and every page I want only for this particular block so for that we are hooking to render block hook and then we're calling this our custom function we are checking 
if the block uh, name is score embed and if it's YouTube then go ahead and uh, enqueue the YouTube embed JavaScript and YouTube embed styles okay that's that's when it's going to be enqueued and then in the JavaScript uh, we've created a class uh, which is hooking up to the custom web component that we've created and in this class uh, we're basically getting hold of that player element uh, the end screen element and then we are adding an event on that button so uh, towards the end of the video when this overlay shows when the user clicks on this button then we are going to replay this video so if you take a look at the bottom here is where we are playing the video again from zero zero means the starting the seconds okay uh, and then we're also setting the attribute ended to false okay uh, so that we can basically uh, style it properly uh, and um, hide the iframe and um, uh, so so this basically when we set the ended to false uh, the iframe is going to be shown again and the overlay will be hidden okay so that's what's happening over here and then uh, in the connected callback which gets called when the component comes into the DOM uh, we are basically um, calling our on YouTube iframe ready function and uh, this function is going to be called when this gets resolved so we are setting up a new promise we're checking if the window contains the YT and the YT player element we are checking about grabbing holding of the existing script so basically we're going to add a script uh, ourselves uh, we're just checking if it already exists because we don't want to add it twice and then if it is then we're going to uh, if it doesn't exist then we're going to go ahead and dynamically create the script uh, set the source to iframe api async to true and then on load we're basically going ahead and resolving it and then eventually we are going ahead and appending the script uh, to the dom then we are calling this uh, on YouTube iframe ready function where we are getting hold of the iframe we are extracting the video ID so as you can see over here this is the this part right here is the video ID okay so we extracting that from the URL uh, from the source and then we are initializing the YouTube player using the YouTube API okay and then on whenever there's a change we also listening to the event whenever there's a change of the event then uh, we are going ahead and listening to that so if you check uh, when it's ended okay uh, when the video is ended then we're setting the attribute ended to true so we can hide or show the iframe and the uh, overlay okay and here we're adding the thumbnail okay so because we do need the URL for the thumbnail so uh, and the, with the video ID so we are passing the video ID and this is the URL that is used to generate the thumbnail because at the end of the video we're going to need this thumbnail to set the background of the overlay so if you take a look here we're setting a background image right this one so the how, how do I get that background image well YouTube generates the background image at this URL we, all you have to do is just add the video ID to it and then it will be uh, for that particular video okay so we pass the video ID we set the background image and that's how the background image for the thumbnail for the overlay is set okay so that's for ended this is for extracting the video ID from the URL which is pretty simple and that's about it that's how you basically achieve this. Alright, thank you very much. Bye-bye.